Tonight I'm going to run my heating system on the... Tonight I'm going to run my heating system totally on the Kodiak using the Kodiak converter. And uh, it's set for one. It's drawing 10 amps. Ten point ten point eight two you know, hundred and sixteen a hundred watts it's still stabilizing it's kind of finding where it is so it's just coming up to heat now and the setting is for one unit that I say I've been running it for one unit and having no problem I I just I I I happen to have the vent in the shade today and uh, with some sun and so I have 60% power and the time is like 11 o'clock so we'll see how the Kodiak does good night guys it's about uh, 11.30 and the Kodiak generator really stabled out. So on one setting it's uh, 6.28 amps and the volt is 10.71 and roughly 67.2 watts. So tomorrow morning, we'll find out what it's like. It's now way before 11, and this is the remote. And the remote for the heater, I'm pressing pressing the power button on the remote hey, the, the remote cannot see the heater so the heater is down I'm at 0.17 amps 1.5 volts 9.1 one so the Kodiak has dropped the load and it's just sitting and it's at two it's it's at one light that's what it means to drain the Kodiak you know, I don't see any reason why to just sit there and take it all the way down so I'm going to turn it off yeah, I'm gonna disconnect. I disconnected the power. The, no, I disconnected the cable for the heater. Nope. So the the Kodiak is totally drained. The codec is totally drained. 0.17 amp, 1.5 watts, 9.12 volts. So I'm just gonna turn it off. No alarm set off. One light. Oh, off she goes.